guys uh, welcome to my channel AVME in today's video I'm gonna show you if you're away from your desk and you still want to record uh, your tracks on your logic pro X uh, DOS software then how would you be able to do that uh, so basically hardware wise you're gonna need a iPad and uh, you have to download an application called logic remote uh, from App Store uh, once you have done that, you just need to make sure that uh, the Logic Pro X version you have, it's the updated one, the current version is 10.3. So uh, that's all you need to do. Uh, second thing I want to mention is just make sure if your iPad is connected to uh, a Wi-Fi, then your Mac, iMac, MacBook Pro is on the same network. Uh, so as long both devices they are they are on the same network then they should be able to communicate with each other so go ahead and uh, open logic pro x uh, sorry logic remote uh, from your uh, ipad and uh, open up uh, logic pro x on your macbook or imac so once you have done that uh, then you have got control uh, to your uh, DOS software. If you can see like uh, if I'm gonna move the master output fader here it's moving on the uh, DOS software and uh, the latency is very very less. I mean it's in millisecond it's it's not gonna make any difference at all in terms of communication latency. So uh, I mean I, I, I don't feel or I don't see any latency. The minute I'm uh, moving my fader here it's moving on the DOS software on iMac at at the same time uh, so to me there is basically no latency at all uh, now you would be thinking why you want to do that I mean uh, there would be scenarios uh, where you're not going to be near your audio interface or your DOS software but you still need to uh, communicate with your DOS software and that's where it's going to become handy uh, you can uh, do basically everything from logic remote what you could do on your uh, uh, logic pro x using imac and uh, obviously you can assign different software instruments as well like i'll give you an example like uh, i would uh, select this and uh, from library what i've done if I click here on library, I've uh, selected Yamaha Grand Piano. And uh, uh, basically, that's what I have done. And uh, now I should be able to record this track. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, record this. And there you go. I'm recording it. Just going to play a major. And uh, now I can stop this recording now let's say if I want to create a new track or whatever then I can just go here click on this icon uh, which is uh, like like a setting icon and then what I can do is I can click on new track and I can create like new audio track software instrument track new drummer track or new external MIDI track uh, the same way you would create tracks on logic pro X like if you go click on tracks new tracks this is the exact same window it would give you here so I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new track from here so I'm just gonna go ahead and create new audio track and as you can see like it has created the new audio track okay so uh, there you go there you go guys uh, I mean uh, it's a really handy uh, application if you have uh, iPad available or uh, I think uh, this is available on iPhone as well but uh, check for that I haven't tested it, it, it on iPhone but I've tested it on uh, uh, iPad and uh, to me it's a brilliant uh, app if you're away from desk or if you are uh, like this is like a control surface if so if you have worked in a professional studio or if you have seen a professional studio uh, the audio uh, interface control surface is a separate device uh, to the uh, analog to digital uh, converter or IO uh, so there you go guys uh, this is basically 
the alternative of having uh, a control surface and uh, as I showed you you can play a software instrument or you can create new tracks and uh, just explore the app and uh, you would find it handy uh, hope you guys have liked this video if you have please click on the like icon and I'll keep making good AV videos please share the video and subscribe to my channel thank you guys bye